If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. I love getting a little bit of leverage from the shoulders out of Hellfire Citadel Mythic. Decent drop rate, drop rate, drop rate for the Old Claw Mantle. But here with this particular set, what we did is, or what I did, is I, I kind of mixed and matched a Druid tier and threw in a shirt behind it and it looks pretty cool. And you could go with the dress wound dressing shirt that I have here or the antiseptic shirt. So two different shirts you could go with. I went with the wound dressing shirt here. Girdle of Night and Day, Throne of Thunder, LFR, Twin Consorts, kind of a fair drop rate to pick that up. Moving on to the legs, these are Demon Hunter tier, but recolored for the other leather wearers. Zuvius drops the legs at a decent drop rate from the Emerald Nightmare LFR. Moving on to a Cult tier and Druid, Wild Gladiator's Boots of Victory. If you hoard, you're gonna go warmongering. Super easy pickup, Marks of Honor there. The hands, Sky Valent Wrist Guards, Trial of Valor Mythic. Odin is the boss, fair drop rate for those bracers actually, they're not the hands. Uh, the back, Notorious Aspirin Shawl, BFA PVP sources, Marks of Honor to pick that set up. The shirt, Wound Dressing, Dalaran, First Aid Vendor, I do believe he's still there, but that is the Wrath of the Lich King version of Dalaran. The headpiece, Helm of Imagined Horrors, always get good use out of that helm because it's epic. Shadow Lord Iskar is the boss, and the weapon, Bite of the Bleeding, Hollow Hellfire Citadel Mythic is the mode. This is a Druid set I did a long, long time ago. One of the first x videos I ever did, but I made a few changes here. Uh, obviously, this goes back a long time ago, so the Burning Throne wasn't around, so those are the, well, that's one of the changes, Burning Throne, those green ball shoulders. The chest, Dead Minds, Heroic Foe, Reaper 5,000, 5% on the drop rate for that uh, set from Kata. That's a drop set from Kata. The belt, Damron's Belt of Darkness, that's the LFR version out of Siege of Ogremar, Earthbreaker Harem, 14% on the drop rate for the belt. Now we're going to move on to the legs, which we can pick up out of the Lost City of Tolvir. Siamat is the boss, 8% on the drop rate, so that is another dungeon that you can do once a day if you go heroic or multiple times if you don't. The feet, Treads of Violent Intrusion, Tomb of Sargeras Heroic, Tide Scale Sea Caller, 8% on the drop rate for those particular green gray feet. So that green gray, I think, really looking cool. Stick with the Cult here and just show the hands. Flot Sam, he is, I believe, a rare and high mountain. Kind of a fair drop rate to pick up those hands. Next up, actually, I think he's a demon from Dem Demon Invasion, so you're gonna have to really target that with great precision. Next up, the head, Cork Kron, Elite Skull Mask, part of the same tier set as the boots and the belt and the headpiece, obviously, and the weapon. C. Vogamar LFR Galacrus is the boss, 16% on the drop rate. Kind of stuck with a green theme for Druids here, but you could also go with anything yellow or kind of brown or even red. I like red for Druids. A lot of people don't, though. The shoulders, Firelands, Major Dormo, Stag, Stag Helm for the shoulders, the chest. Super easy pickup from Vanilla. It's a drop set, Gypsy Tunic, Lock Modan, good drop rate. Uh, farm it or basically buy it on the auction house. Got the belt from Old Year Mythic. Talic, 10% drop rate for the Bloodstorm buckle, even though it's kind of gold. Anyway, moving on to the legs, which are part of the same drop set as the chest. Gypsy Trousers, Dark Shore. This is where the good drop rate is. Strider, Clutch Mother, or you can buy it on the auction house. 55% drop rate. Head over to Dark Shore. Make sure that you're basically toggled into the right version of it, because there's two of them. Phoenix, Down Treads. Firelands, Alice Razor, worthy get because you could always get a mount off of Alice Razor. Uh, Cinder Silk Gloves, Firelands, Beth Tillich, fair drop rate to get those Druid tier gloves from Kata. So you're looking at the shoulders, the gloves, and the boots, all tier from a place called Kata. The Tabard, Tiller's Tabard, Valley of the Four Winds, Tiller's Quartermaster, Gold, and Rep to pick up that Tabard. I believe the Rep is Exalted. The Headpiece, now this is 
conflicting sources as to whether it's still available in the game. It's a recolor for monks. You could always buy it on the black market house or substitute it. We have a little bit of a mix between Mop and Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, Mop is represented with the shoulders here. Prideful Gladiators, Dragon Hide, Spalters, Mop PvP Vendor, three marks of honor. If you hoard, you're gonna have to go Grievous to get those shoulders. Rip Last Jerkin, Utgard Keep. Very simple looking piece, which is a dungeon drop from Wrath, but I like that piece. I really do like that blue look for, for Druids. It works, a little bit off the kilt, but hey, the shoulders are definitely of Druid tier, and they're blue, so Druids wear blue. Prideful Gladiator's Belt of Cruelty, if you hoard Grievous, so the belt and the shoulders, part of the same PvP tier set. The legs, Rip Lash Leggings, the Nexus, various mobs there to farm it, or you could buy it on the auction house. I do believe the Nexus drops a mount. No, not the Nexus, it's the other, the, the Oculus. Ugh, hate that place. Prideful Gladiator's Boots of Alacrity. Mop PvP Vendor Marks of Honor to get the Prideful Boots if you hoard Grievous. The Wrist, Prideful Gladiator's Bindings of Meditation if you hoard Grievous. Marks of Honor, many Marks of Honor to get this set because the shoulders, the belt, the bracers, and the boots are from Mop. The Back, High Tinker's Cape, Battle of Dazzle Ahar, Mythic, High Tinker. Mecha Torque is the dude who drops that cape, I love that cape. Wild Gladiator's Helm, Wad PvP Vendor, Marks of Honor once again. If you hoard, you gotta go Warmongering. And the weapon is the Ghost Iron Staff Mop Level Inscription Auction House. Going back to that white and brown and blue look we did in the previous, actually that was green, white, brown, and green. Now it's white, brown, and blue. But two completely different sets here. Deep Earth Mantle to get the shoulders that's farmed out of Dragon Soul. Super easy pickup. Uh, the chest, ceremonial leather harness, Wailing Caverns if you want to farm it or buy it on the auction house. Kind of a fair drop right there. The belt is a purchase. Ba basically a very simple purchase from the Legacy Justice Quartermaster, 165 gold. Of course, he's located in Stormwind or Ogrimmar. Moving on to the legs which I think is kind of a creative placement here. Uh, Salamander Scale Pants, Molten Core, Lucifron, 22% on the drop rate for the legs. So a good mix of a lot of different uh, X-Packs for this particular set. The feet, Ancient Tempest Striders, Eternal Palace, LFR, Radiance of Ashara, 8% on the drop rate. The hands, or in this case, the bracers, Bleak Howler Arm Guards, Black Rock Spire, uh, Jizz Rule, interesting name, is the boss. Uh, Plasma Splattered, Great Cloak, Old Deer Vectus, 10% drop rate for the cape, which of course goes really well with this set. Uh, the shirt, Antiseptic Soaked Dressing, as I talked from the earlier set. You could go with the Wound Dressing uh, back backdrop shirt or this one. Uh, Bare Mantle Headdress, The Burning Throne, Agrimar, 10% on the drop rate. And of course, the weapon, which is Ice Crown Citadel, 10 man rot face. Final set, moving on to a red die here. Yes, the warmongering gladiators pauldrons. If you hoard, you gotta go wild. Three marks of honor from the wide PvP vendor for the shoulders. Now we're gonna move on to the chest, which is straight out of vanilla wolf riders padded armor, Zul Farak. Various mobs there. We're buying on the auction house. Choice is yours. Eh. Either way, probably just buy it. That's the best way to go. Got a Worgen showing the belt cord of the Dream Grove, which is from Valsara, from, of course, your Druid Order Hall, 14% on the drop rate, which is incorrect. It's going to cost you gold. That's the way that works. Moving on, the legs, imposing pants, which means that you could also go with the imposing vest. It's a lookalike or the Wolf Red Rider pants. Either way. Go which cheapest on the auction house, just so you know. Bard's Boots, Northern Barons, Swift Mane is the boss, some of the rare, 20% on the drop rate, or buy it on the auction house. Choice is yours. Free country, free internet, free a lot of stuff. Warmongering, Gladiators, Dragon Hide, Gloves, if you were gonna go wild. Two marks of honor to get the gloves from the Wad PvP vendor. Next up, we're gonna show you a Torin, or should I say, I don't know if it's a Torin or a High Mountain. Not much, they're not that different, are they? 
So here's the deal with that cloak. You have to get it through plateware, but then you can mug it to your druid and head part of the same tier set as a few other pieces in the set. And the weapon, also warmongering combatants, I'm as you staff, wild if you horde. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. My name is Luxley, and I'll leave you with these final thoughts. Wherever it is, fly you, whether it's morning, or it's afternoon, or it's night, make it epic.